And we have the group Transition in the studio. Some of you might be familiar with them, and uh, they've been good friends with ICRTN and all the Taiwanese fans here for years. And now they're back in our uh, ICRT studio to tell us more about some of the projects they're involved in, and of course their music. Please welcome Transition. Hey, hey there, Joseph. Great to be back. Band for a long time, mm -hmm. actually 14 years, I think this year. Right, and uh, so we've had all sorts of interesting experiences. But I think the most fascinating thing has been living here for the last year and a half, mm. nearly two years, mm. um, and engaging with an entirely different culture and how that's affected our music and us personally and us as a band. Mm. And, and uh, we think it's an interesting story. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Taiwan's such a small island, and a lot of people overseas still don't know what it has to offer or exactly where it is on the map. So every time we hear local people sing the praises of where they are, it's kind of a given. But for a group of foreigners and you know such young, talented people, I think it's I think it's very great. <laughs> Uh, Beijing is my Chinese name, and that means polar bear. Hey, yeah, it's just kind of a fun, fun sort of name, and, and it's also really easy for people to remember. Like, no, there's no one else here that's called Beijing Song, just like there's no one else really uh, who would call themselves polar bear in uh, England. If you look at the caricatures of the band, Josh is the the principal guy, fair trade, uh, keep the environment clean guy. Jess is the kind of lead singerish kind of guy. Likes meeting with people. Likes, you know, is quite confident. All that kind of stuff. I'm the emotional guy. I'll have to say everything I'm thinking. I'm basically the girl of the band, if you like. <laughs> You guys are here to stay because uh, this is kind of like second home to uh, all of you guys. Mm, yeah. It started all at Spring Screen back in 2005. Yeah, that was that was our first experience in in Taiwan, right. and we loved it. We had an amazing time. Mm -hmm. uh, so we kept coming back uh, every year. We would come back for at least two three weeks mm -hmm. um, until it got to the point where we thought, uh, actually, if we want to do anything more in Taiwan and really build anything here, right. we've got to stay here. We've got right. to be here long term. Right. So in 2009, then we all moved over essentially, right. and we've been here for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's been been great so far. Well, we're here on the the view deck of the 85 building, and we're about to play a gig. And we are the first band to have ever done that here on the 74th floor. And it's quite an amazing view from here, so it's, it should be really enjoyable. This 
是指呃提到来自英国的前击乐团，就是 Transition。那他们跟台湾呢也有一个非常呃特别的缘分。Pick the spot so we get the sunset right as we're playing five till six. Today, we're very happy to be here. And we're very happy to invite the Transition Orchestra to play with us. So let's give a warm welcome to them. 你知道，如果我们能够跨越这个文化差异，我们可以连接在更有力量的方式。现在我们在台大语言中心，我们学习中文。这是办公室，这是中心，这是中心的文化中心。这些人就像蜜蜂，在制造蜜蜂，这是语言，我们可以吃，这是学习语言。这是一个非常有趣的地方，因为你进来，你不知道。嘿，北京人，嘿，北京人，嘿，北京人，嘿，北京人，嘿，北京人，嘿，北京人，嘿，北京人。You, can you do a class tomorrow because Thursday is busy or you know it's it's exciting like that. So it was Josh who first came here. He studied for three months. So his his Chinese progressed a lot faster than all of ours. Um, and then last year we started studying here as well. One of the things that you learn say straight away. Is uh, sorry, my Chinese isn't good. Doubuchi, or the Zhongwen Bu Hao. So I thought, why don't we put that into a song? Doubuchi, or the Zhongwen Bu Hao. Doubuchi, Doubuchi, I don't know what you're saying. We've always felt like people really responded to our music. I feel like since we started singing Chinese, actually people connect with it more. Hello. Yeah. It just feels like a real mix of of us and Taiwan. So coming to Taiwan actually, it had a lot to do with the music, but it had a lot more to do with the people, uh, and I think that's the reason why we've stayed longer than a ten-day tour. Uh, it's because we want to invest more of ourselves in the people that we know, rather than just come here and show the music and go home again. Back in December 2009, we did a campus, a university campus tour. We went to almost every city in Taiwan, and we felt like there was a real connection with so many students all across the country. That that was a real, uh, quite a humbling experience to think, you know, we're reaching thousands and thousands of students all across this this island uh, with our music. What a privilege! And then the flip side of that was uh, one day just meeting someone in a restaurant who asked me what I was doing in Taiwan, got chatting, they took me to a cafe, introduced me to the boss of the coffee shop and recommended that we go and play a show there. The boss was a bit nonplussed. She'd never had a band in her cafe before, but agreed to it and we tried it out. And we had an amazing time. It was it was hilarious, but it was really fun. 
And it was kind of the opposite end from, you know, the campus tour with thousands of students and a big rock sound. But it felt like the music communicated just as much to those 30 people. So after that, any coffee shop we saw that we thought was, was nice, looked good, so we'd immediately go and ask them, hey, can we come and play? So the coffee shop tour kind of began. Trying to hire um, bikes for the MV, for uh, things don't always work out. And uh, we look like we've got three electric scooters, which we're quite excited about. You better not chase me down. I didn't understand you, and it's been over a long time. Well, what we certainly try to do is, is wherever we are, no matter how big or small, just go for it. So, like, for example, last week on Friday, we were playing to 10 people. On Saturday, we were playing to 10,000 people. And hope, I hope we were giving it as much in either situation, do you know what I mean? I find that happens a lot in Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just meet people, you get talking, and there's instantly a connection there. You know, we're not just strangers sitting at different tables, caring about our own lives. It's easy to interact with people. That is, um, that is something quite special. Um, we've had other people really connect with a song called Cloud Cover that's about being in a difficult place. The clouds covering the sky just represent, you know, the troubles that are often in our lives. That You look up and you think, I've got so many troubles around me. It's like I can't break through that grey ceiling. And then the song's talking about actually when you break through, the sun has always been shining, it's just you couldn't see it. Acoustic performances are something I really enjoy when it's a smaller setting. Um, if there's a small number in the audience, then I think acoustic is great fun because you can you can always have a conversation with the audience. So uh, you tell stories, then sometimes they even ask questions. You can see their faces if they you know if they laugh, they think it's funny. Or uh, when you're playing the song, you can see almost like they're thinking about their own life. How does this how do these lyrics and this music, how does it fit into their own experience almost? I understand over the last couple of years, you guys, uh, you know, have met a lot of, uh, you know, people in the field here in Taiwan as well, right? Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, we've been really lucky to um, meet lots of Taiwanese musicians, also to cooperate with some of them. So, mm. um, for instance, last year we did the um, musical 
We were part of the band for Rainy, so we played at the Taipei mm. Arena in mm-hmm. Shaoju Dan. Mm-hmm. Uh, also in Singapore, we played an indoor stadium there for her. Right. And also we've collaborated with some other friends. There's one guy called Wing. This is the Taipei Arena. A few of our friends have played here as well. Wing was just here tonight. Uh, actually, hey Wing! Yeah. Hey! Bro! Wow, come on! Yeah,很荣幸的是,因为我是一个台湾是一个小小的地方 make sure you wear a seat belt that's what I would say if you're about to meet Wing because it's so fast moving when it's with him <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah nice song love <laughs> And it's been great fun to actually, rather than just come here and play our English style and, you know, like give that to everybody, actually to receive some influences from the Taiwanese mm-hmm. music scene and mm-hmm. other musicians. It's been it's been great, mm. really ins- inspirational. Yeah, mm. it's a mutual thing, and I think a, l- a lot of uh, folks here are finding, you know, your presence here to be, you know, just as enriching, you know, to <laughs> to uh, <laughs> be able to have a bit of influence from you guys as well. So this is us here. That's our own transition album. This is the DVD of Rain's concert that uh, all of Trainers were playing at. This is JJ Ling Junjie, it's a live DVD that I was playing drums at. This album, we're on that as well, Faith Man. Oh, and this album. This album has Niall singing and playing a duet with that guy. So, what's that? One, two, three, four, five. Five of these were on. We're on our way to Farida Guitars. So that's the Taiwanese guitar manufacturer that have sponsored us with lots of Faridas, giving us loads of guitars. Welcome to Farida offices. Hey. Hey. The two the two managers of artist relations, Mark and Juliana, they're so amazing, they're a really nice couple. Getting in touch with them, and whenever we were coming in, they were like, "Hey, we, you know, help you out. Don't you don't have to bring so many guitars over on the plane or anything like that. We'll help you out. Come into the come into the showroom and pick out a few and go off on tour." I have to say, it's one of the most enjoyable experiences I've ever had as a musician. Being told, "Here's the showroom. Here's maybe 200 guitars. You know, all spotlighted, all hung up. They all look great. You can choose whatever you want." <laughs> <笑>我們受到你們音樂的這個感影響所以覺得你們音樂真是太好了可以影響到非常多的人 okay, We're headed to Hualien So we're taking what was supposed to be the most spectacular train ride in Taiwan Oh, 
Hualien is the east part of Taiwan, and actually it's a little different from the big city from Taipei, from Kaohsiung, from Taichung. Here is much more natural. If you come to Hualien, it's not just go sightseeing one day or two days. You have to feel the atmosphere here. Already, I know that I will look back on this time in, that we've lived in Taiwan as as being the most amazing experience of my life, and probably the hardest. <laughs> You know, you give up everything, come here, trying to do something totally new. And yes, we've had such a privileged uh, time here, but also there's times when it's really hard. The transition has been the same every time we've come up against something really difficult. It's been an opportunity to learn something new or to press on through the difficulty. And in doing so, we have our character shaped and changed and hopefully learn new skills. Out of the process, we do have new songs that have almost been inspired by that. Uh, one of the songs is our first real Chinese song, Stay in the Moment, and we've trialled it at a few concerts, and it's been really great. The feedback has been, it's been more than positive. It's felt like people have really been touched by something of the reality of our own experience, but us trying to communicate that in, through the Chinese language. Um, I think that's really worked. You guys, of course, as you mentioned, Josh, that you're working on new material. And speaking of new material, you want to perform a Mandarin Chinese song here? Uh, yeah, that's right. Us, we would love wow. to Wow. <laughs> okay. What is it called? It's called uh, Stay in the Moment. Now, the Chinese name, uh, Liu Zai Ni Shen Bian. Liu Zai Ni Shen Bian. Uh, stay in the Moment. Mm. That sounds right. Okay. I want to hear this. Let's okay. hear it okay. for transition cool. right here. There's a hope in our music that we really want to convey. I think that's really important for us. That's the connection. It's about having a song and an atmosphere that is more than just we're writing music to sell it. They love Taiwan enough to actually be here and sing about Taiwan and want to have more people um, believe in Taiwan and want to come here. Let's give it up for transition. That was oh, that was stunning. I have to say. I mean, <laughs> thank you. Because you guys kind of understand the the essence, the spirit of of Mandarin music. We've been true to our name. We've definitely changed a lot. 
Um, so we're, we're true to the transition part of the name. But I think we're constantly looking at how do you move forward, how do you get better, how do you connect more with people. We're always open to the fact that yeah, maybe we're too idealistic or um, we need a reality check. But actually, at the end of the day as well, the fact that we're aiming high and aiming to really touch people means that people do get touched. We're all excited about the future. I think the key for us all, over and above the music, over and above transition, is to hold on to the principles that transition has lived by, which is, do we believe in what we're doing? Do we see ourselves having a, a positive influence on the people around us? Not just through music, but through the life that we're living. If we finish today, I don't feel like any of it would be a failure. I don't know, we just want to have a really interesting story and live life to the full. And I think everybody can connect with that. In terms of our dreams and our visions, I think the day we stop dreaming is the day we should give up.